Happy boys and girls. It is the last subject of the day before we do that balloon popping. We are gonna journal. Now, earlier we read a story about the rainbow fish. It was such a sweet story about a, a boastful fish who did not want to share. But when he did, he learned that sharing, sharing made him feel really good inside. So we're gonna go ahead and write about that. So you're gonna need your journal, you're gonna need a pencil, and you're gonna need some crayons, okay? While you get your supplies, we are gonna go ahead and watch a video review song about the rainbow fish, all right? Here we go. She's a silly lady, but it's a cute song. Hey, Bernie. Today, let's sing a story together. your children about paragraphs at the kindergarten age. So green dot means go, arrow means push it in. All right, so who did we learn about today? We learned about the rainbow fish. Word counters, please. Come on now. I learned about the rainbow fish. So we're gonna write six words. We're gonna start with a Connie capital. Go ahead and start and write the word I change my color right here to black. Ready? I learned, learned, o er n d. There's four sounds, but there's bossy R in there. He's taking away two sounds. So let's see what we heard. Learn, o. You do not 
out here that E are the A, Basi are sitting really Basi and taking two sounds away. I learned, I learned, I learned. So let's go ahead and read that. It says, I learned. Great. About, about is a fight word. We talked about that last week. About sounds like a ah, 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 but it's really an A. We're going to say a, bow, oh, you, oh, that's that special sound. About, I learned about, okay, so I ran out of room. What am I going to do? I'm going to go under the green dot. I learned about, great job. The, we're not going to start with a capital. We're going to go with the, the dog. The dragon, the cat, the lion. Now, who do we learn about? The rainbow fish. The rainbow fish is his name. So we're going to do capital R. Er, it, oh, wait a minute. This says its name, so there's going to be another vowel. Rain. I learned about the rain. A rainbow. 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 Compound word. There's no finger space. Rain. The. Oh, and that O is the O W because we learned that O W can sometimes say O. Oh, the rainbow fish. But it, and then what says? Shh. That's right. It's an S H. When you put S H together, it makes that sh sound. I learned about the rainbow fish. And I'm going to put a Peter period. Now remember, if I'm going too fast, you can always just pause that video. Now it's really important to go back and read what you wrote. So get your tracker fingers out and say, I learned about the rainbow fish. Do you see how I'm touching each word? Go ahead and do that again. I learned about the rainbow fish. Okay, great job. Read it to your shoulder partners and then get your yellow crayon out because you know me, I like details. So we're going to do the yellow dot right here. The yellow dot means tell me more about the rainbow fish. Okay, so I have my yellow dot. What did the rainbow fish learn how to do? He learned to share. He learned to share. So we're going to write four words. We're going to start our sentence with a Connie capital. Ha e he ha e he now look right here boys and girls there's a resource we already wrote learned say that again learned we're, we're gonna write learned right here and we can just copy it because we have a resource and god gave us a brain to use it so we're gonna do a little space and i'm gonna just gonna copy the word learn, give my brain a little break. I, he learned to, what did he learn, to swim? What did he learn to do? Share, look, shh, air, look at, fit, shh, shh, share is S-H. So we're gonna do S-H, Bossy R, error, magic E, and we're going to put punctuation, which is really important. Don't forget that Peter period. All right, then we're going to go back and we're going to read it again. Get your tracker finger out and say, he learned to share. He learned to share. Go back over to the green dot. Let's read the whole thing, tracking. I learned about the rainbow fish. He learned to share. He, that's always a good thing to know how to share. Let's do one more yellow dot because we have to do three sentences when we're in kindergarten. So let's do one more yellow dot. And let's see, how did he fill 
when he shared? Was he mad? Was he sad? Or was he happy? He was happy because God wants us to share. We are showing the love of God to others when we share. So we're going to say, it made him happy. It made him happy. Four words. It. I'm not going to write this one. It made him happy. Write it. It made him happy. And then go back. Read that again. Touching and tracking as you go along. All right. When you're finished with that, we're going to go ahead and do our illustration. What is our illustration going to be about? It's going to be the rainbow fish. So I'm going to go ahead and get my black out. I'm going to thin it out a little bit. And not that much. And I'm going to draw my rainbow fish. So I'm going to go ahead and do him in the middle of my paper. You, I would use a pencil if I were you first, but it's your choice. Okay, so we're all the way like this, and you've got a fin at the back. I'm gonna draw it right here. I'm gonna do my teacher best. Go back around. I'm gonna leave room right here for his lips. And then down, and then I'm gonna leave room here for a fin that goes that way. How's it looking? And I'm gonna do one at the top. I think this keeps popping up. I must be doing something with my finger. Okay, so there is the beginning of my rainbow fish. I'm gonna give him, he's got this, oh my goodness, he's got this thing going on right here. And he has an eye right here. And then he's got, he, he, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop. And then he's got these things right here. He's pretty scales. Remember his scales? He was the most beautiful fish at the beginning, but then he learned how to share. And even though he wasn't the most beautiful fish anymore, he was a happy fish that had friends, right? And then we want to do a yellow. I'm going to do orange. I'm going to do orange for his lips right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and color. I don't want to be translucent. I want to color his scales. I want to do a different color. I don't want the colors to touch. I want them to be bright and colorful. So I'm going to kind of go like this. And it change to pink. Do a pink one right there. Make them all pretty. I'm going to put the pink one right here. Here, and then maybe add some green right here. I don't know how I'm going to do a sparkle one yet. I haven't figured that one out, but I'm liking my colors so far. Uh, maybe red. I'm going to save one for my sparkles. Ooh, he is colorful. What do you guys think? Do you think I'm doing a good job? How is yours turning out? Is it turning out awesome? All right, let's see. I'm gonna go with a yellow one for my sparkles. I'm gonna do a big yellow one right here. And then since I don't have a sparkle choice, I'm gonna thin this out and I'm gonna add some colors like I'm adding glitter. Add some red. Those are representing his sparkles that are on him. That's the best I can do with no silver glitter or gold glitter. All right, so there is my fish. I want to also color the ocean. So I go like this and do a, oh, I want to do it translucent because I, I, I don't want to go over. So I want to be able to see the rainbow fish. So if you want to do that, then you would use the side of your crayon and press down really light. And then if you want to, you can go ahead and add a bunch of his friends and you can add a beautiful coral. Judy always does a nice job. She always sends me a picture of her journaling, so I know that she's doing it. Okay, go ahead and do that. And then you want to add some details to your picture. All right, 
So tell your neighbor what you learned about the rainbow fish and what do you think God wants us to do with that lesson, okay? All right, it's time for us to pop a balloon. Woo! We're gonna pop a balloon. See what's gonna happen today, are you ready? Because if we were at school, we would be doing these fun activities as a whole group. But we can't be together, but you are with your family. So we're gonna do a countdown, are you ready? Five. Four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, let me see what is our special activity. Here we go. How fun it is! Water day! So you guys get to spend the rest of the afternoon on a slip and slide and a sprinkler, water balloon, squirt guns, or even in a pool. All right, guys, you worked hard today. I'm proud of you. See you guys tomorrow. God bless you.